it was mainly I was always interested in math and science, so it kind of just led me to the path of engineering. And then when it came to actually deciding a major, I never, growing up, I never thought I would go into construction, but as I researched it more and got more into it, it was definitely the ideal major. Civil engineering because I wanted to go into the construction field because I wanted to see things being built before my eyes to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm studying engineering. I love the everyday aspect, something different. It's a different problem every day. It's a lot of problem solving. It's a business that has to deal with people and I like dealing with people on a daily basis too. The most important thing is to have confidence in what you're doing. Not be intimidated just because it's a male dominated field. We can be just as creative. More, I mean, we like the math and science, but we like creativity and, I don't know, problem solving. And know. with Berkeley and I too, like we both came from construction, so yeah. we saw it growing up. And that's a lot of things that people, people don't, the men in the field don't realize that we've seen this just as much mm -hmm. as, they, as they have. So it's proving that to them. Don't be afraid to. It doesn't seem to be an issue, especially in class. I mean, I think... Yeah. It's more with the older generation that they have, they're not used to women being in the field. Mm -hmm. All the guys in our classes have been accepting of it. I know older students have said there's only like a couple girls in our classes. We've experienced, I think it's, we're kind of in a transition period where there's more girls in our classes. Mm -hmm. So it has been nice. There are, is a majority of guys in our class, but we haven't, there's a lot more women than there used to be. Mm -hmm. I, my father was in construction, but not engineering. My father was in construction, yeah. too. He said, sure, go for it. <laughs> yeah. It might not be the easiest, but he said, if I was up for it, go for it. Mm -hmm. Something when I was little, a drive-by restaurant, my dad would say, I built that. And then every time you drove by with your friend, you're like, my dad built that. It's kind of like the same. Yeah. Children say. Having something yeah. tangible yeah. that you actually worked on, put a lot of work and effort into. It'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. I just find it very rewarding to finish a project, either if you design it or if you work on the construction of it and you're able to drive by and say that I was able to build that. And